Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista from Hebert's Down Home. If you're new here, welcome. I would love to have you click the subscribe button down below. In today's grocery haul video, we worked really, really hard to do some price comparisons and to get some good deals. We shopped Walmart, Aldi's, and Sam's and um, put a lot of research in. So in the previous video, which was posted on Tuesday, I think it's called um, Reining in the, the Grocery Budget, um, we talked a lot about how we were gonna do price comparison and um, kind of narrow it down to a one-week haul instead of a bigger shopping haul for our family of eight to see if we could save some money and take some money out of the grocery budget. So come along with us and enjoy the haul. Walmart tonight and my Walmart total for the week is $85.02. We're also going to hit Aldi's and Sam's tomorrow morning. So this is a week grocery haul for our family of eight. So I'll show you what I got at Walmart and I've been doing some major price comparison shopping so I know, hopefully know, which stuff is cheaper where. So um, we'll start down here. I my aim I'm aiming for two hundred dollars for the week for our family of eight. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but that's my goal. Okay, so these weren't actually on. I paid for these with different um, funds, but I wanted to show them. These are some Pioneer Woman mugs. I'm just falling in love with all the different ones, so I'm just getting a big variety in my cabinet for fun mugs to have. Um, I got some Vicks, some just alcohol wipes. 9 volt batteries, hand sanitizer, a couple packages of markers, which kind of falls under our school supplies, but I'm going to put it in with this right now. I um, got a can of pumpkin for a recipe, all fruit, um, strawberry, and then I also got some strawberry preserves for the kids. Um, dill for a recipe, I got some salsa, northern beans for wicked white chili, um, we got some cat food, more cat, cat food. Um, celery, some ham for sandwiches, couple boxes of raspberry zinger tea. I got one bunch of bananas. I know that bananas are way cheaper at Sam's for sure and probably all these as well, but I wanted a bunch for tomorrow morning before we went. Um, and then I have a bell pepper, an onion, um, and some cornmeal. I also bought eggs at Walmart and I probably should not have done that. Um, because I'm realizing all these would have had them a lot cheaper. So our chickens are not laying fully. Um, they're laying some eggs, but I'm not getting enough out of them to feed us all. So I'm going to have to just supplement with a little bit of extra eggs. Um, as When spring comes, it'll, they'll pick back up and we'll be overrun with eggs. But um, right now we just don't have quite enough with the cold cold weather so I went ahead and just picked up a box of eggs and that'll kind of keep us going along with what we have for quite a while so um, so anyway that's my haul from Walmart that is the smallest Walmart haul I have had in years so anyway that's my Walmart haul we'll I'll show you my Aldi's and Sam's haul when we get back from there tomorrow okay so we just got back from Sam's and Aldi's um, this was probably my smallest Sam's haul ever <laughs> We only used one cart and usually we use two, have two heaping carts and I think we got to go through the 10 items or less line. So that's um, how few of things we bought there. I switched a lot of my purchases over this haul to Aldi's because I felt like um, I was just getting a better deal on quite a bit of stuff and I really worked hard to do some heavy price comparing and things for the most part, a lot of things were cheaper at Aldi's. Meat was not cheaper at Aldi's, and there were a few other items that were not cheaper at Aldi's. Um, but I shifted quite a bit of my haul over to Aldi's, so I think I'm going to just keep working on that. So I'm going to show you, first of all, I think my Sam's Club haul. 
And part of the problem when I'm doing a one week call purchasing stuff at Sam's is I have to buy everything in large quantities. So some of this will go over into the next few weeks. And so that means that I'm taking it out of this week's money. So, um, so I went over budget a little bit, but I bought some things in bulk that I needed to buy in bulk. So anyway, um, I got some organic chicken broth. Uh, apples I got six pounds and this is gonna hopefully I'm gonna make this last two weeks for us so I'm gonna put half of it in the refrigerator upstairs and half of it downstairs and put a sign downstairs not to get into those till next week same with the halos I got a five pound package of halos at Sam's and I was finding that a lot of the produce at Sam's was cheaper or comparable and I know that the produce is excellent at Sam's so um, we went with those two things at Sam's I got a big bag of cheddar cheese again I I am gonna make this last two weeks um, so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna make that last two weeks Cheerios same situation this will probably last two weeks our kids like the name brand Cheerios for some reason. I have tried some of the off brands and they just won't do it. So, um, also uh, Mama Lupe tortillas. These will just last one week probably. The Oikos Triple Zero yogurt. This probably will last us two weeks for this box of yogurt. Um, and then the almond milk as well, probably two weeks. They did not have almond milk at Aldi's. That's where I wanted to buy it and it would have been quite a bit cheaper. Um, heavy whipping cream. And I bought a rotisserie chicken. So when we're talking about price differences on the um, on the almond milk, um, price comparison wise, Aldi's was a dollar ninety nine, but they were out. And of course, I'm getting name brand at Sam's, so that's going to make a big difference. But for the name brand at Sam's, we were talking three twenty two each. So um, so it's quite a bit of a price difference. So I could have saved quite a bit if I could have gotten the almond milk at Aldi's. They just didn't have it this time. So I went ahead and got it at Sam's because I use it every single day. So, and I didn't have any today and I am really missing it. So that is our Sam's haul. I did go ahead and get milk at Aldi's. I think it's only 20 cents difference though between Aldi's and Sam's, but more like a dollar between Aldi's and Walmart. So I do usually buy it at Sam's. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my Aldi's haul. Okay, so I have some of these pizzas already in the freezer, but these are great go-tos for um, for like it, to keep us from eating out. So we don't usually eat them, but the kids will eat them. So if we want to eat leftovers or something, the kids, you know, we'll we'll have them have pizza. So these pizzas at Aldi's are a dollar twenty-nine. So super cheap pizzas. I usually get a couple of meat and a couple of cheese, and that'll feed all the kids no problem. I got some chocolate chips. Um, these are of course not on Trim Healthy Mama plan, but um, we go sparingly and use them in um, different things for the kids. I bought some summer sausage, and I just get the one with the least amount of added sugar humanly possible. The kids like to eat this for snack, along with some cheese and crackers, maybe, or sometimes for a lunch. Um, baked beans just for a side sometimes for them turkey dogs we go through about three packages of those a week I got a few hamburger buns again they were out of whole wheat which they have been a lot lately um, and some whole wheat bread I have a couple more of these we will go through about three to four a week and I have I think I have three of them in the freezer we didn't need sprouted bread this week from all these because we already had it pineapple was on sale for a dollar 19 so i went ahead and got a pineapple i don't usually do that grapes were on sale for a dollar 29 a pound at all these so i got a package of grapes we'll go through those in one setting easily so um a couple packs of spinach i got bananas at all these when i compared banana prices it was 46 cents a pound at sam's 29 cents a pound at all these and 55 cents a pound at Walmart. So I went ahead and stocked up um, at Aldi's on bananas because that is a cheap, easy, healthy snack for the kids when they get hungry. Like, go have a banana. They know they can always have a banana around here. So I bought one bag of chips. So this will be one time they can have chips with um, bread. And if you are noticing, I'm I'm decreasing each time on the chips. Um, we bought a couple gallons of milk at Aldi's. I bought three um, packages of butter, um, two of the plain Greek yogurt, a 
couple of unsweetened applesauce, a creamy peanut butter, baking powder, but I am just now noticing that this is not the aluminum free baking powder or the alum, yeah, aluminum free, I think is what it's called. Yeah, and so this is not the right one for Trim Healthy Mama, but I'm gonna go with it. Um, a couple bags of flour. I have a bag, I have a can of mandarin oranges in the fridge or in the um, pantry, so I'm gonna use those along with what I have there. And then this was another thing that probably put us over the edge, but this will go into another time. But I bought drumsticks for chicken drummies in the um, Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. And these were 69 cents a pound, and I bought three packages at 306 each or around there, three dollars each. So that this will get us through two recipes of that for our family. So we won't have them again right away, but in a couple weeks we'll have them again. And I thought that was a good price on the drumsticks. So that is my Aldi's haul for the week. I sort of got booted out of the kitchen. The kids are putting groceries away for me though, which is awesome, and Monty. So while they're doing that, I'm just gonna give you the rundown and the totals on everything. So from Walmart, we spent $85.02. At Aldi's, we spent $77.42. And at Sam's, we spent $37.56, which is a grand total of $243.31. Now, my goal was I was hoping to get in under $200, but I did buy a few things that will, will fall into some more consecutive weeks. So I'm hoping in the end, maybe it all comes out in the wash. Although I am really thinking after this trip and how hard I work to price shop everything out, that if we're eating healthy, which is what we're trying to do, that I think maybe $250 a week for our groceries is maybe as low as we can get it for our family of eight. And when you break that down, we're looking at $4.95 per person um, if we do the $250 or $243.31, what we did this time. Um, that's $4.95 per person per day, and that includes some household products as well as groceries. I don't know if we can do any better than that. So if I can kind of keep it under that 250 mark each week, I still think we're gonna be benefiting a lot from that. And I do think all these may be my ticket. Anyway, that's that's kind of what we, what the conclusions that we came to today and what we figured out. And um, I think that we did probably save a good chunk of money by doing all that price comparison. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.